Hello everyone. Today we will speak about evaporation from a solution. This is the lesson for the grade 5. Solutions. Some materials can dissolve in water or other liquids. Dissolve doesn't mean disappear. Dissolve when a substance mixes with another substance and becomes part of it. Materials that dissolve form solutions. Solutions always have two parts. The solute the material that is dissolved, and the solvent, the liquid in which the solute dissolves. This picture can help you. For example, we have solute and it is a salt. We have solvent, it is water. When we mix it, we will get solution and this solution will be salt and water solution. Here we cannot see the solute salt in a solution after it has dissolved because the particles of the salt move in between the solvent particles when they dissolved. It looks like the solvent particles hug the solute particles and we can't find the solute particles anymore. During our lesson at the school, we made the experiment making a solution. We use water, copper sulfate crystals, and potassium permanganate, and a teaspoon. Now you can do this experiment at home, but don't forget uh, to be with your parents. And it's better to make this experiment in the kitchen. You can use copper sulfate crystals, potassium permanganate crystals, or even salt crystals. It's up on you. What you need to do? You need to fill the glass beaker three quarter full of water. Put a teaspoon of a copper sulfate or potassium permanganate or salt crystals into the jar and absorb what happens. And write down your observations like a real scientist. You need to write down your observation in your copy books or in the paper. You need to answer the questions. What can you absorb in the water around the copper sulfate? Please draw and label your observations. Can you see the solid copper sulfate or potassium permanganate or salt crystals anymore? In this activity, which is the solute and which is the solvent? Please draw it and label. And what about the nature? Can we find the examples of a solution or a solutions? in the nature. Of course we can. Look at the sea. Sea is a big, big water body full of the sea water. And sea water, it is a solution because it's made up of solute and solvent. In this case, the salt is solute. The water is a solvent. The salt dissolves in the water to make the solution, to make a sea water. And what do you think? Can we get the salt back from the sea water? Yes, we can. And a lot of people have a job in this area. Their activity is called salt walk or salt works. They are used to extract salt from a sea water using evaporation. Don't forget that evaporation is the process from the water cycle. It's when a liquid turns into a gas. All liquids turn into a gas and evaporate. All water evaporates from the reservoirs and salt left behind. And that's why people get the salt from the squares and make these mountains of the salt. And after the salt, you will use it in the kitchen, in some activities for your life. Can you get the salt back? You can again make the experiment. For this experiment, you need salt, water, small container, a measuring jug, and a teaspoon. 
Here you can find the instruction for this experiment. Of course, you need to predict what will happen when you evaporate a salt solution. Give a reason for your prediction. Think about how to set up your investigation. Where should you set up the investigation? How long must you leave it to get any results? And don't forget to make a label drawings to show what you used and what you did after the experiment. Make a label drawing to show the results of your investigation. And after your experiment, you should answer the three questions. Can you back the salt back? The first question is, was your prediction correct? Suggest two ways in which you could obtain results faster. And write a conclusion, completing this sentence. I found out that it was possible or impossible to separate a solid from a liquid by evaporation. Today you've learned a solution is made up of a solute dissolved in a solvent. The particles of the solute move in between the solvent particles when they dissolve, so you cannot see the solute in the solution. And when a liquid evaporates from a solution, the solid solute is left behind. And people use it in a salt works. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Have fun with your experiments.